everybody, it's Anna. Time for our final card in this week's tarot story. We have our second major arcana card, so another big life lesson, and it is temperance. Some people see this card, when they hear the word temperance, we often associate it with not drinking alcohol, so it's kind of about moderation. But when I look at this card, I see it more as finding our balance between our two natures. Okay, so this angel has one foot in the water, one foot on the land. Water connects to the intuitive emotional life. The, the land connects to the earthly rational life. So she is on both pieces of experience, as well as she's holding two cups and she's pouring water from one cup to the other. But although you might think it flows from the top to the top cup to the lower cup, it actually flows in the other direction. So the water is flowing up, really defying the laws of gravity. So when this card shows up, it reminds us that part of our work here on earth is to balance our true natures. We are both earthly creatures who are manifesting and creating and experiencing challenge and resistance here on the earthly plane. And we are spiritual creatures who are brought here in order to create miracles, to create in the earthly realm, the magic and the awareness of the spiritual realm. So when the cut, the water flowing, that's why I think it's significant that the water is flowing from the bottom to the top, basically defying gravity. This reminds us that when we are able to fully embrace our physical self and our spiritual selves, we are able to change the physical laws around us because we are in both worlds. We are capable of amazing in uh, indescribable things really from the from the material plane so but it's important for us to not deny the body like often with um stoicism that kind of mentality it's like the body is just weighing us down it's just a limitation it's no fun you can't do that and you also can't deny the spirit you're not thinking well we're going to be rational and just be in our material body you can't think that either you have to realize you live in both places and if you can bridge the gap. If you can keep one foot in the water and one foot on the land, then you are able to create these amazing manifestations using both here in the physical plane. And that's what you came here to do. That's why you didn't stay in the spiritual world. That's why you came to this earth because you wanted to bridge the gap. You wanted to be a spiritual creature inside of an earthly body. So this whole week has been about a new path you're starting. Um, and so, and there's challenges along the way and the mind trying to, you know, mess us up a little bit. So today the question is, what is this path creating? What are you doing with this path in which you are marrying your physical experience with your spiritual um, mindfulness? Like what is the new thing you're creating in the world? And remembering you've got to be in both places at once for it to work. So that is our final card for this tarot story. I'll see you next week for our next one. Bye.